The Nigerian Custom Service and United Nations Habitants has concluded uh, plans to mobilize over 10,000 youth in the fight against smuggling and imagined border threats in Nigeria. The Acting Controller General of the Nigerian Customs Services, Adewale Adeni, alongside the United Nations Habitant Ambassador Raymond Edo, emphasized the importance of training and capacity building to address emerging threats in customs operations. This was disclosed uh, during a courtesy call at the service headquarters in Abuja yesterday. Amadin Obewe has more on the story. One key focus of the courtesy visit of the UN Habitat delegations to the Nigeria Customs Service was cybersecurity, recognizing the evolving tactics of criminals involved in smuggling and border related crimes. The Acting Controller General of the Nigeria Customs Services, Adewale Adeniye, has stressed the importance of a well structured cybersecurity unit within the service while noting that the unit would help protect against cyber threats and ensure the security of customs operations. He revealed that the service, in collaboration with the UN Habitat, will embark in mobilizing and training over 10,000 youths in the fight against smuggling and emerging border threats in Nigeria. The cyber security training. We do have a very uh, efficient, well-structured, cyber security units because we do know that this is a very important aspect uh, of our operations that we must uh, take you know very very important it's no longer enough for us to set up uh, checkpoints uh, to start pursuing smugglers all over the places uh, we do know that uh, these criminals are not resting in the hours in terms of how they are moving a step ahead of security to perpetrate their crimes and we do know that we now have to also step up our games and uh, acquire these uh, uh, skills to be able to cope with the kind of uh, uh, danger that they pose not only for us but also for our national security so i appreciate uh, your offer and uh, uh, whatever you need whatever we need to do to take advantage of uh, your training programs, we will evaluate it, uh, we will determine relevance to our situations and then we can have a conversation regarding how we can go about taking advantage of it. Speaking earlier, the UN Habitat Ambassador Raymond Edo highlighted the need for training in cybersecurity, digital literacy and skills creation to combat modern challenges in customs and border security. Youth are the perpetrators of smuggling. A man of 70 years cannot smuggle anything. He doesn't even have the physical strength. So if you observe, 99 point something percent of smugglers in this country are all youth. And how do we curtail this? And I came up with an idea. The idea is we will be going to the 36 states of the Federation campaigning and I will discourage every youth I will tell them the risk of smuggling I am not fighting smugglers but I'm discouraging the minds of the youth from smuggling we'll be training 50 officers of Nigerian Customs Service in digital literacy skills in our partnership with the CG, we will make sure that we close all our gates. What is right will come in, what is not right will not come in. And we will not relent in this campaign. Lending more voice on how they can achieve this, a youth entrepreneur, Samson Adilson, spoke about how this will aid and balance Nigeria's trade practices. Because we don't export anything, the Naira devalues. How do we, so we've talked about problems. What are the solutions? Some of the solutions are what we've actually brought to, you know, um, um, the custom service, which I believe is training. And this training, it addresses um, what their needs are the custom, and it also addresses how we can get back to the production age, which means that if we can give, if the nation wakes up to vocational training, and we're able to train youth, we train, we train uh, chefs, we train carpenters, we train steel fixers. We'll see before we know it, we'll start, we'll start exporting things, we'll start creating things. The Acting CG, Nigeria Customs Service, also emphasized the need for balanced trade and local production 
as he called for a shift to reduce the strain on the national currency and promote economic growth.